guys, it's Shanda the Rat, and for today's video, I will be reviewing another rat subscription service. Uh, this one is called Misfit Mischief Market. And some of you will remember my rat subscription service review of Ratty Box, which I did, I think, two or three weeks ago. And after making that video, I was contacted by the owner of this Ratty subscription service, which again is Misfit Mischief Market. And they asked me if I would like to review their November box, and of course I agreed. So before I get started with all the awesome items inside, and there is truly an awesome amount of stuff in here, you'll see in a second. But before I get started, I just wanted to point out that I will have their links in the description down below along with in the comments, so please check them out there. And of course, I will also mention it at the end of the video, uh, but for now, I want to go ahead and get started with the contents of this box. So first of all, there are some things in here for the human. Uh, first, you have this cute little maple leaf, which is a Christmas ornament, I think, or a tree ornament. Uh, I actually just put up my Christmas tree, so I'm pretty excited to put this on there as well. Now the next thing is this little cookie recipe. And this is really cool because you also get one of these little cookie cutters. And I think the one for this box was actually a turkey, but she was nice enough to send me this little rat one, which I'm super excited about because I have to admit, I do not have one of these and I've really wanted to make some rat cookies for a while now. So this is going to be really helpful to do that. Now the next thing in here is this cute little letter. You can see it is a turkey. This card is super cute and so is the little pie rat sticker. That's adorable. Now the next thing in here, which you can argue is for the humans, are these yogurt cranberries. Uh, oh my god. Uh, technically, these are probably also for the rats, but I'm kind of wary of giving my rats raisins and other sticky stuff uh, because they can be a little bit prone to choking on certain things. So I will probably eat these myself, but there are a ton of other treats in here, so the rats will not be lacking. Bean, can you be patient? Please be patient, Bean. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the rat stuff so that I can actually give the rats some of it. So the first thing in here is a favorite for my rats, and that is Gerber Puffs. So these are some baby snack foods, and these are one of my favorite training treats. I use these and Cheerios as my main dry treats for training, and I will break them into two to four pieces each. Sugar, get out of my box! Bean, no! No, Bean, no! No! Okay, well, anyways, these are a super popular treat and the rats really enjoy these, so I really, really like that these were included, especially in this cute little Thanksgiving bag. Okay, I need to get, oh my God, she chewed open a bag. You chewed open a bag, gosh darn it. Okay, so next we should show the bag that Sugar managed to chew open. Um, that is this little bag of sunflower seeds and nuts. And I'm really excited about this because this is going to be used mainly in my foraging toys. Uh, the rats really enjoy nuts and seeds and sunflower seeds, but they're a little bit fatty and protein filled, so I don't like to give them too often, but they're really great for foraging toys. You can mix a little bit in there with their normal food, and it really encourages them to forage a little bit more. Now the next thing here is this little mix of food, and this is really awesome. This treat mix looks absolutely delicious, and the rats are really going to enjoy it. So you can see it has some dog treats, it has some dried banana chips, uh, it has some roasted peanuts, it has some Chex Mix, it has some Cheerios, uh, it has dried pasta, um, it has some mealworms, it just has all sorts of delicious stuff and the rats are really going to enjoy this. Uh, I will probably be scatter feeding this so the rats don't eat too much at once, but they will be having a total blast finding it because, well, let's be honest, who wouldn't want to eat this? I kind of want to eat it myself, so the rats are very lucky. Okay, so the next treat item in here is probably the coolest looking thing. This is a little assorted treats, uh, assorted treats, and you can see here we have some yogis, which I'm sure anyone who has had rats probably uh, knows that yogis are a huge hit. Uh, I don't really have a lot of them around because I used to use them for training, but they're a little bit too filling for that uh, and a little bit too unhealthy to give as a ordinary training treat, but they are absolutely one of the favorites of pretty much every rat I've ever met, and so I will definitely be using these as a special treat. Then you can see some dog bones, uh, dog treats, uh, some other rodent treats, uh, some yogi melts, uh, baby food, some more commercial treats. Uh, some dried flowers here. I think this is dandelion and a rose. But anyways, this is really cool. Lots of fun stuff here and lots of delicious stuff that the rats are really going to enjoy. So the next thing on here 
are some dog treats. So the rats are going to really enjoy these. I cannot wait to give them some of them. Uh, these are some dog chews. You can see that they're peanut butter flavored and they are also not rawhide. I know they kind of look like that and rawhide is not good for rats or any animal really, but these here are going to be absolutely enjoyed. Uh, my rats are huge fans of dog treats, so they are really going to be excited about this. Oh my God, sugar, no, sugar, gosh darn it. What the heck? Not even five seconds of unsupervised access to the rat box. Sugar, I'm trying to get you an awesome treat here and you just go and you try to take the first thing you can find. You are a devious little sugar. Okay, Bean, Bean, I'm try Bean, I am trying to open this, but you're, you're not helping. Bean's like, I just, <laughs> Bean's trying to help so much and it's not working. Okay, 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 I got one. Oh, I got it open, okay. You ready? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at this treat. Bean is so excited about it. Okay, Bean G, oh, you can have it. Okay, don't, don't steal it, don't steal it. Don't steal it. That's a huge treat for just you, Bean. Share, share your treat. <laughs> she does not want to share okay so i have pretty much gone through all the treats now uh as you can see bean is very much enjoying the last one and sugar will hopefully try it she's not as adventurous as bean but she's usually pretty into food so i suspect she will start trying it in a few seconds uh, okay there we go so the next few items in here like i said are not food but they are some really cool chew toys so first we have some of these little apple logs, and this wood is perfectly safe for rats to chew on. Uh, this is great stuff. You probably have seen it in pet shops. They usually sell it like this as well. And the rats really enjoy chewing it up, so I will be putting this into the cage for them to enjoy. Now the next thing in the box is this cute little cupcake looking toy. Uh, this is a chew toy. It's a wicker ball tied into a cupcake wrapper with a little bead on top. So this is going to be a huge thing with my rats. They are huge fans of wicker. They just love to chew it up and they also like chewing up paper bean. Please, patience. And bean is already going to start chewing up the toy in front of us. Okay, so the next thing in here are these two little DIY foraging toys. And these are some of my favorites to make for rats because they are just a lot of fun to make and the rats really enjoy them as well. As you can see, they're basically made of these little rings of cardboard which come from toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes. And they are a big hit with the rats, as Bean is trying to show us. Uh, they have some tissue paper inside with some treats, and the rats really enjoy foraging with them. Uh, Bean is trying to take it from me right now. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you are some of my favorite things to use for the rats. And these are some paper straws. So I really like giving the rats paper straws because they like to chew them up. They're safe for them, they're sturdy, they're great for making things out of. I have a ton of obstacles made for the rats and other sorts of training props, so they're really fun for them. And you can just put them in the cage as cute little colorful things that the rats will enjoy chewing up, <laughs> as Bean is trying to demonstrate right now. Okay, so there's two more things in here. We have this corn in here. Now, I used to give corn to my rats quite a bit. Uh, I used to give them to my hamsters as well. These are really enjoyed. They just make some popcorn and they are pretty much perfect for the little animals to enjoy because, well, you have tiny kernels and it makes tiny popcorn. So just a really cute little popcorn corn. And the final thing in here that I'm very excited to show you and probably my favorite is this little foraging toy right here. So you can see that this, and I'm going to open it up. Okay, so this here is really cute. Uh, this is a toy that you hang up in the cage. It's like a little forging toy, and it has a bunch of stuff in it. First you have crinkled paper, which I'm sure you know is one of my favorite things. I use it in my rat's dig box and in their forging toys. So it's definitely a great thing to see in here. And then you also have some paper straws, you have some chopsticks, you have this wooden spoon, uh, you have a popsicle stick, uh, you have one of these, uh, I forget what these are called, but I see them in bird toys all the time. I think they're called finger traps or something like that, but these are a huge hit with my rats and I've had quite a few bird toys with them that the rats really enjoy destroying. So I think this will be a huge hit with my rats. And I will also probably sprinkle some treats in there uh, with a ton of treats to choose from now. Okay, and now we have the best item, which, as we all know, is the box. No, but seriously, in my last video, I got a few comments saying that I should have mentioned the box. And I meant to. I got surprised by sugar being in the banana, which was a toy that was in that box. Uh, but I will mention it here. So we have the box, which is going to go over very well with the rats. Okay, so now I'm going to put everything out so you can see everything. There is a truly crazy amount of stuff. 
and I think it's a really great deal. I'm just absolutely amazed with how much stuff came in this box. Okay guys, so I've laid it out so you can see just how many things are in this box. So it's absolutely incredible how much stuff you get here. There are so many awesome treats and so many fun toys, and my rats are just going to enjoy this so much. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I really hope you check out Misfit Mischief Market. Uh, again, I will have it linked in the description down below, along with have it linked in the comments. It's a really awesome box, and my rats have really enjoyed everything in here. And again, I just want to say how awesome it is to see all these rat subscription services popping up. Uh, because really, I used to only see them for dogs, and now that I'm seeing them for rats, it just seems to tell me that rats are becoming a more popular pet and a more well-known pet. So I just think it's really awesome, and I really want to support all the rat subscription services out there. And yeah, if you're looking for a cool gift for your rat for the holidays or just a cool monthly service, this is such a cool way to get your rat items. It's just a really fun thing. I mean, I just love the mystery of it, and I think it's a really good deal. I'll be freaking beat, man, every time. Every time. Anyways, that's all I have to talk about today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope you have a happy Friday.